it's very uh, substantial because it put an end to a protracted war. And then when the Baksamora government was established, uh, finally in March 20, uh, 2019, that's another big milestone. Why? Because it signals already the start of the implementation of the BOL. 17 years of negotiation since 1997 is not a joke. So, you know, 20 years of negotiating peacefully, patiently, uh, with the MILF and the government is actually one of the milestones also. So that led to the Banks of Organic, uh, organic Law and the uh, establishment of this Banks of government. So that's probably one of the milestones that I could say uh, the end of war, the start of peace and peace building. We have uh, enacted, uh, I think, 70 le legislative. Uh, and I would like to mention only, first of all, the parliamentary rules and procedures that is necessary in order to move forward. Uh, we have approved our parliamentary rules and procedures that will guide not only the present parliament but uh, the future uh, regular uh, parliament. Now, of course, as mandated by the Bank Samoro Organic Law, we have already approved the transition plan uh, submitted by the Chief Minister. It is a mandate of play. We have approved the uh, Human Rights Commission Office. It's already law now. The, of course, the 2020 expenditure program. Uh, we cannot move without the budget. So, uh, I would like also to mention the Attorney uh, General's office. Uh, we will act as counsel for the, for the government. And we have just approved the socio-economic planning system. We have also enacted a law creating a women's uh, commission. Nagawa natin na maalis yun. Yung uh, 8,000 ghost uh, employees. So, malaki na yun sa amin na uh, medyo nabawasan yung, mm -hmm. yung mga corruption. Pati sa uh, normalization comes transformation. Transforming the camps into a peaceful and uh, peaceful and uh, they call uh, productive community. Our uh, program there and uh, projects are uh, uh, social infra, uh, livelihood, and we have the arts alternative learning system. If we uh, this uh, our alter alternative learning system is uh, the best among the programs because our people in the camps, uh, most of them do not know how to read and write. So our focus there in the camps, so they were able to read right numbers so they can now go down and can read the signs the, the, the different uh, names of such a uh, store here such a uh, mall and then they can also learn uh, earn their livelihood so na ko ko pinasang bills natin tapos na pinag sa Bang Samoro. Yung Sultanit po ay malaki ang may tutulong nila regarding po sa mga rido. Pangalawa po din sa Sultanit, yung livelihood program po. Uh, una po yung naginawa natin na resolution bill na sa mga paderte po natin ay meron po sila mga utangan o pwede sila mag-business para sila po ay makagawa, makareaksyon man na para sa pamumuhay nila para din sa Bang Samoro. My office 
the first thing that we did is to draft a cabinet bill creating the office for settler communities as provided for in the BOL. So far, it has passed first and second reading in the parliament. Another thing that we focus on are the concerns of the orphans, orphans of war. Now that I am with the parliament, I passed the resolution creating an office for the widows and orphans of war. So it is referred now to the Office of Social Work, Ministry of Social Services. And the uh, corresponding funding was provided. Kung masabi kong isang milestone sa side namin dito sa office na na submit namin yung aming IPLO kasi isa doon sa priority eh. Kaya nga lang, ito siya hindi pa talaga na-deliberate sa plenary. Hmm. Isang mahalagang ano yun kasi ito yung pinaka ano talaga dream ng IP na magkaroon ng batas similar so, doon sa IPLA na kumikilala doon sa mga uh, rights na nandyan sa bangsa more or kami no? So yun yung magpapatupan nun, yung batas na yun, yung IP nun. No? That we could uh, say is that we have advocated for women and because of that, uh, we are the one of the principal authors of the Bank Samar Women Commission. Uh, we are, our office has a very important role in that uh, task because we really lobbied and pushed for the passage, not just in the uh, parliament but also in the government itself. So we are happy that we successfully hurdled the challenge, and it, this is one of the primordial institution that has been established right next to the Bank of Moro Human Rights Commission. Milestones na ikakonsider ko na may pasokong resolution is about honorary rehabilitation. Uh, we, this is a calling for the Bank of Moro government to provide financial assistance for the Marawi siege survivors from Ground Zero. Uh, to, the, the intention is uh, for the purpose of uh, repair and reconstructing their Damage houses. Milestone was really having uh, the MILF lay down their arms and sit in the parliament. And instead of uh, fighting the government, they're there observing the process, they're there learning uh, how to run a government, and they are also um, learning all this uh, one day at a time. The leadership of the MILF joined the government, sit in the parliament. And the youth now are looking at uh, the democratic process as it may be slow, uh, complaints akin, but I always tell them uh, uh, this is a democratic process and this is how we should endure and we should persevere. The approval of uh, the recruitment agency is the uh, recruitment agency act for 2020 is uh, very significant and important for the Ministry of Labor and Employment. So, uh, it's a for you major component in the Ministry of Labor and Employment in uh, Recruitment Agency Act to regulate the uh, local and international uh, recruitment agencies uh, operating in the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region and Mission Mindanao. Uh, so, as, uh, to prevent uh, the uh, illegal recruitment in the area. So For me, the, the, the most uh, significant is number one, uh, the uh, institutionalization of moral governance. You know, this was the first time we're in uh, uh, members of the parliament were made to swear before the Holy Quran that uh, we will do our uh, uh, mandates in accordance with uh, the moral uh, prescriptions of uh, of our uh, religion uh, whether you are Muslim or Christian the, the passage of uh, the approval of the transition plan which uh, uh, became the basis for the passage of the uh, uh, Bangsamoro Appropriations Act Form of government 
is in itself a challenge. No? So since this is a new form of government, we aim to make the most out of it for the benefit of our constituents. So we hope that we will uh, uh, pass priority legislations within the de deadline that we've set. And we hope that uh, we will be able to create offices also that are necessary in uh, effective governance and also in act budget that are responsive to the uh, needs of our people. No? And we want also to instill uh, moral governance in all levels of bureaucracy into the public servants' environment. And ultimately, syempre, uh, natin, we want to be worthy of this change, which is Marm. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely, the elections in the Bangsamoro is different from the election from the national government. Um, it's a national government, as I said, it is a unitary system. Uh, our parliamentary elections dito sa Bangsamoro ay uh, hindi siya katulad ng sa national government. Challenge siya. Uh, kailangan din natin i-change yung mindset ng mga ating mga electorate, uh, mga voters natin, kung ano yung ele uh, parliamentary elections. Yung Ito yung first time talaga natin to establish ang parliament dito sa Pilipinas. Uh, mahirap po maghanap ng, kwan, ng role model unless na pumunta ka sa ibang bansa, mag-research ka ng mabuti. But, but in the end, we, we should develop our own based sa, sa, sa context ng Philippine Constitution, Philippine Administrative Laws. Kailangan natin magawa ng sarili natin. So, it will be the initial challenge para dun sa mga first who will set the rules and traditions for the parliament. How we can be work, work together. The 79 members of the Bangsamor Transition Authority that they have, uh, that they have, have to work together in order to uh, translate all those uh, mandated under Republican 11054 into a uh, viable uh, autonomous region with uh, good governance and at the same time that we see to it that they'll be inclusive everybody would be uh, part of that uh, and uh, be able to contribute their part uh, to that uh, establishment of the new autonomous region so form of government and uh, we need uh, people to help us in establishing this new when we assess the three departments uh, last year, I told to myself, uh, it, it, there, uh, there, there are the very overwhelming challenges in, in handling three departments. Uh, what I did, I created the TWG from the three departments. And I lead the three T, TWG from three departments, and we are uh, uh, discussing all implementations, all challenges we are facing. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, the challenge was how can we shift the mindset of those bureaucracies of uh, three departments. Mm -hmm to think one ministry. Uh, even about to end the year, they are still thinking their own departments. This is like the challenge with me, how I can uh, consolidate those decisions, become one as Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries and Agrarian Reform. I think yung, kaya, if you have very high expectations, uh, in three years' time, you, you're able to address poverty in the sense na aakyat kami in all the human development indices. That may not be, three years may not be enough. Uh, as I said, multifaceted yung iba-ibang problema namin. Uh, at um, more than three years na kakailangan to do that. But I think if our expectation is for the BTA to set up the structure, to set up the mechanism, to set up um, uh, human resources, 
that will be ready by 2022 when we have the regular banks and our government, uh, then I think it's a reasonable time uh, para po magawa namin yung uh, ilang mga sistema, ilang mga struktura uh, needed so that we can have uh, elections by 2022, set up hopefully uh, principled and genuine political parties, uh, and change the mindsets of people so that uh, we work together kahit na we have also competing interests but uh, but still look, looking at the bigger picture no? uh, I think that, that it's a reasonable time We should be united that is the most important thing that uh, regardless of uh, tribal uh, uh, groupings, uh, tribal differences and uh, political persuasions, uh, we have to unite. 2022, I would like to see that our uh, uh, people will uh, live in peace and prosperity. The vision is uh, Number one, that the people are able to uh, elect uh, um, competent and responsive leaders. So that's uh, uh, genuine and meaningful democracy when uh, it is really, um, when the people have a better uh, capacity to, to select uh, responsive uh, leaders. But although it's more complicated than that, and uh, that's why my vision is that there is a functioning, genuinely uh, principled political parties um, wherein uh, people uh, merge together and to work for uh, the truth. Well, we will be working in the prevention and countering violent extremism in the future. We hope uh, we can achieve some people. Uh, this government is working for the good of all and everybody is given a chance to participate in the peace process. So we will attend to this, uh, the uh, what is, uh, prevention and countering violent extremism to we achieve uh, peace and order in the area and our rehabilitation and de development uh, is, prohibit, is prohibited by the chief minister will be in place properly, inshallah. And I think the framework for the new government has been clearly defined and provided in the law. There is an effort to minimize at least uh, the, the politics of the past and bring in a politics of idea, the politics of uh, advocacy, the policy, politics of programs. That is why in the law, effectively as in the process of uh, election that will definitely give the people the chance to elect the real representative is a challenge and at the same time a better hope.